but they're a separate dialect. Uh, I love using the example of like how to say a certain word because I know how to say like one or two words in most of the dialects in my mission. So um, I guess just the word yes. So in English, yes. In Tagalog, uh, depending on how you want to say it, if you want to say it like casually like to friends, uh oh, just two O's. They pronounce all their A, E, I, O, and U's over there. Um, so yeah, uh oh, just casually. Opo, if you're talking to someone respectfully. Um, like if you're talking in a sentence and you add po, just po, it's a respectful article. So they know that like you're respecting them, especially when you're talking to like an older person or an official of some sorts over there. So yeah, uh oh, opo in my biko, uh, the dialect, io, which is also a word in Japanese. I learned from a friend here. And then in the Rinconada dialect, amo is yes. And then apparently, I learned this from the missionaries in the mission beneath us, that yes in their language is au, or something close to that line, A-W-U. So the languages over there vary um, where you serve. If you're in the Naga mission, you'll be speaking Tagalog, Biko, um, and Rinconada. But if you get assigned in the center of the country, like in Cebu, you'll speak Cebuano, Visayas, or you've got Waray Waray, Maranao, Ilocano, Kapampanga, and um, Benguete, I think, is another one. There's 70 plus dialects over there. There's a lot of different ways to communicate with people, but it's, it's really fun.